Hey, Whitney. Hey, how are you? Good, good to good see to you see again. Good to see you, yeah. So, I want to go after the first class staterooms, mm -hmm. but I want to learn more about who, like, who these people were, like how they lived. I think we have to place them in the time period. In 1909, the RMS Republic was right in the middle of the Gilded Age. The Gilded Age spanned roughly about 1878 to about 1915. The only way for these people to get to Europe was by ship. So the White Star Line would build these incredibly amazing ships so that these people could feel like they were home, away from home. So this was the time of trunk travel. Okay. And these people would take their jewels, they would take their currency, their finest clothing, and they would also take their uh, staff, their valets and their maids, because they had to get dressed several times a day. Wow. Trunk travel was also uh, a very social event. The men would meet in the smoking rooms. Can you imagine the deals that were made in those smoking rooms? Well, there were a lot of bankers. 59. 59 bankers? 59 bankers. So they had to have all known each other, and they've had to obviously want to look good in front of your colleagues. Absolutely. They wanted to outdo each other, and their wives as well, even more so. Of the 250 first-class passengers on Republic, who stands out to us? William J. Mooney was the wealthiest man in North Dakota. You have to understand that William Mooney was a true entrepreneur. He started out as a simple school teacher, and then he moved west and founded a county in North Dakota. And he started the W.J. Mooney Bank. So he had a bank named after himself. Yes, he did. This guy was seriously rich. One of the wealthiest families on the ship was the Couples family, and they were across the hall from the collision area. Samuel Couples was an entrepreneur from St. Louis. Mr. Couples told the newspaper that he lost $25,000 in personal items on that shipwreck. I mean, this money, jewels, gems, did it specify? It didn't specify. Something interesting that I did find was that Mrs. Couples had a pair of diamond brooches. These weren't just any diamond brooches, they were five carats worth of jewels. And these were the reproduction. And they went to auction at Sotheby's in 2011 for $74,000. So the reproductions of these sold for 75 grand? Yes, absolutely. And the originals are still sitting on the ship? In yes. This, in a stay room? Wow. Give me the big picture here. My research suggests that there could be well over $50 million in jewels and personal effects in the first class staterooms of the Republic. I need to go after the first class staterooms. Absolutely. The Republic beat him the first time. It consumed him. We're dealing with the largest treasure ship in history. I cannot leave this unresolved. The fight is far from over. We will recover the Republic's gold.